There are 12 million cancer survivors living in the U.S., and that number is only growing. But sometimes the treatment that saved them from one disease leaves them facing another. Now, researchers at UConn Health's Pat and Jim Calhoun Cardiology Center are developing a way to keep survivors in the clear. Teresa Dufour explains. When Abby O'Brien discovered a lump in her breast, her intuition told her something was wrong. Once I had the lump and the biopsy, I pretty much knew that the results were going to come back as cancer. They did, and her doctors didn't waste any time taking action. They had me in chemo uh, nine days after my diagnosis. But the treatment that would save Abby from breast cancer would also put her at risk for something else. In the past decade, we're learning that a lot of the chemotherapies that we use to treat patients' cancers um, can have adverse effect on the heart, what's called cardiotoxicity. In some patients, chemotherapy can damage heart tissue, weakening the organ and putting the patient at risk for heart disease. Sometimes it develops immediately after treatment, other times it can take years. Why this abnormal muscle? But a team of researchers at UConn Health Center is developing a way to identify cancer survivors most at risk for heart disease and taking steps to intervene before it's too late. As part of their study, patients like Abby receive a blood test before beginning chemotherapy, during treatment, and after. The test looks for protein markers that signal heart trouble. So there are several classes of these protein markers. One is a marker for inflammation, and we know inflammation uh, is bad for the circulation and bad for the heart. The other class of protein has to, is an indicator of damage, the actual uh, death of the cardiac muscle cells. A patient's heart is monitored further through cardiac MRI and 3D echocardiography. Those identified as being at risk for heart disease may be prescribed medications or encouraged to take other preventative steps. Regular physical exercise uh, not only prolongs life, but prevents the recurrence of cancer and also prevents the development of heart attack and stroke. For patients like Abby, staying one step ahead is giving her peace of mind. I'm aware of it, and I know the questions to ask, and I feel that's empowered me. And hope for the future. It means the world. I mean, that's what every mom hopes for, is that, you know, you'll see your kids graduate, you'll see them get married, you'll see your grandchildren, and, you know, that's the plan. And that's a plan worth sticking to. So far, Abby's test showed no signs of heart disease, but knowing she is at risk, she keeps her heart healthy by walking and eating a Mediterranean diet. For more information about the study at UConn Health Center, visit heart.uchc.edu or call this number, 860-679-3343. Again, that number is 860-679-3343. Up next, summer is here, a timely topic, boating safety. That's when Connecticut Style returns.